Hi there. In this video we are going to try and troubleshoot a problem where my mouse pointer is literally not showing up anywhere on the screen. Sorry for filming the screen but I need to somehow be able to also show you the mouse while I'm doing this. So I know for a fact that the mouse is working, you can see it blinking. Uh, and if I use the scroll, you can see it right there moving along, but no pointer whatsoever anywhere. Hmm, so let's get to it. By the fact that I know the mouse itself is working, it's not defective and it's obviously connected to the receiver because this is a Microsoft wireless mouse and drivers are installed, but something probably happened to the drivers, I, I, I'm thinking. Let's see what happens if I plug in the receiver of a completely different mouse. So, plug it in there, plugged in, now let's bring to the table a different mouse. Do we have a pointer? Yes, we have a pointer. <laughs> ah, does this one move now? No, this one still only scroll working on the old one. So this still only scroll. The other one that we just added, also moving the pointer as you can see. So new one moving everything, old one nothing. If we also touch, uh, we are on a laptop in this case, let's see the touchpad, what does it do? It also works. So the only problem is this particular mouse. Now that we know that uh, that's the issue, let me close this and we are on desktop now. And let's go to control panel. I have it here, but you can simply search for it. See control panel you see it there because we started typing its name using the good mouse or the touchpad again if you are on a laptop your touchpad should be working that's the idea try to plug in something different apart from the one that's not working because otherwise you will be forced to use shortcuts like this for going to start for example you can press this you will have the start menu then with tab you can go through uh, through all of the menus in here it's gonna be fun so you can use it with the arrows you move up and down so you can do what you need to do by using shortcuts but it's gonna be a pain so again if you are here with tab again you can uh, and the arrows now you can actually go to device manager and hit enter when you reach it or actually doing yeah enter <laughs> and in here again i think with tab we can actually go down and now we use the arrow keys to go to uh, mice and other pointing devices and then hit enter i actually know i think we need to hit space or right arrow yep sorry about that right arrow so yeah you can move with that but try to get a different mouse from somewhere a friend a family member somebody even a, a, a cable mouse which is plugged in directly not a wireless one doesn't matter that one should be working and what you need to do now uh, figure out which are the drivers for the one that's not working anymore Basically, you can do that by unplugging the one that's not working anymore. So let me unplug it now. And the drivers should actually disappear. Did you see it? Yeah, I have another receiver right here plugged in for the keyboard. Or a Microsoft keyboard. So I'm going to unplug that one also. So it doesn't bother us anymore. And now I'm going to be plugging back in uh, just the one from the mouse. Okay, so this is the one for the mouse. Right click on it, uninstall device and delete the driver. 
uninstall. And now, hopefully, I'm going to unplug it. Come on. And now, if I plug it back in, in theory, it should be searching for drivers online and install the drivers from scratch by itself. I'm not sure how much time it will be needed. It's not yet working. Yeah, Dropbox is adding features. I don't have, even have light anymore. So let's turn the mouse on and off. We have a light now, camera focus please. Hmm. Let's give the PC a restart and see what that does. Be back when it has restarted. No, sorry friends, I'm an idiot. I was playing with the big one and I left the other one uh, unplugged. But actually, I opened up the mouse and took a quick look. Inside of this mouse, that big one does not fit. So it means that the small one is actually from this mouse and the big one is from the keyboard. So I actually uninstalled the drivers from the wrong device. Oopsie daisy, so let's do that uninstalling once again for the proper device and leave this thing actually unplugged now. Uh, get out. And plug this one in. Somewhere, doesn't really matter in this hub any of the ports <clears throat> sorry about that so now we have the driver for this and we need to uninstall it but i need to enter my bitlocker and get windows just in case someone doesn't believe it you can clearly see this was the wrong one for this mouse that's the proper one for it so yep unplugged the wrong thing first time so started windows once again Wait, did I just... Come on, little mouse. Do your thing. Ah, for me it actually started working. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm, I'm now only with this plugged in. And I will also plug in this one. I think both of uh, both of the devices where is control panel being both Microsoft uh, wireless devices one keyboard one mice mouse uh, yeah it, they don't have the long uh, name anymore because they didn't uh, update the driver by themselves yet presumably it will get updated both of them actually uh, yeah it needs to find it online it will take a bit of time anyway both of them actually use the same driver so in my case it was quite fiddly to know exactly exactly which one to uninstall but i actually uninstalled the same driver for both of them this is why the old one started working so yeah we have movement with the old mouse so yep that's what you need to do find a pointing device that's working plug it in uninstall the uh, driver from your old device that's not showing your pointer anymore restart your computer and you should be done so hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye